recipes like like say a cooked pumpkin pie I get to figure out how to make that raw and taste good and that people don't even know that it's they're eating raw foods so I love being able to feed people healthy foods that taste really good and I tell people that I like to sneak vegetables into what they're eating and they don't even know it. Now how do you exactly actually um, substitute certain things like how do you figure out how to substitute things? Well, the way I figured out how to substitute things is by doing a lot of practicing. So when I first learned about raw foods, I got a recipe book and I started just making all the recipes. And then I, as I started making them, I realized, oh, to make a pie crust, instead of using flour and butter and sugar, you can use nuts and dates and basically nuts and dates and maybe some other dried fruit. So you use a food processor instead of a mixer. So you just have to learn which equipment goes well with which like how you make a pie crust is with a, with a, a food processor and how you would make like something like a pie filling would be in a blender instead of, you know, in a bowl with a whisk. So it's just different equipment. Okay, um, what is the benefit for kids who eat a raw food diet? The benefit, the biggest benefit I've noticed for kids that eat raw is, you know how a lot of times kids have runny noses, or they don't feel good, or they have to stay home sick from school, or even getting really hyper and can't focus and concentrate? Well, when kids start stop eating sugar and stop eating white flour and milk and start eating um, more vegetables and even things that taste good like a fruit smoothie maybe with a little bit of powder in there that is really healthy for them. Um, their moods are more even, they're happier in general, they don't get runny noses. So in general they just feel healthier and they feel happier and everybody gets along better. <laughs> um, what is the healthiest kid-friendly dessert you can make? Uh, I can make a. Ch do you like chocolate pie? Yeah. Do you like ice cream? Yes. Um, do you make? Do you like pudding? Yes. I can make all of that. I can make brownies. No. I can make anything raw that you can eat cooked. Pretty much, I can figure out how to make it raw. So, exactly what is in like your um, chocolate pudding? Okay, so in a chocolate pudding, um, you know the funny thing about chocolate pudding is I use avocados in the chocolate pudding, and really? nobody even knows it because it's creamy and fatty, like kind of like cream. So once you put the chocolate in and the sweetener in, and I'll use something like honey for the sweetener or um, sometimes a sugar-free thing, like uh, there's something called xylitol. Have you heard of that gum that's good for your teeth? Um, xylitol? Yeah, I think so. You can also use that as a sweetener that's a no sugar sweetener in your pudding, but it tastes sweet. So avocado and vanilla and chocolate, which is raw chocolate powder, and um, things like that to make it creamy and yummy and you would never know that it wasn't a regular pudding. Wow. Um, so what is your favorite raw food dish to make? My favorite raw food dish to make, well, the one I love to eat the most is raw pizza. So how do you exactly make the raw pizza? What do you put in? Okay, so for the crust for a raw pizza, um, I use, a lot of times I'll use almonds, and flax, you know what flax seeds are? Yes. So we grind up the flax seeds, and we blend up the almonds, and we use olive oil. And it's actually really easy, and you put some salt in, you blend it up into a batter. So it's kind of like having pancake batter. And then I have a food dehydrator. So instead of an oven, I use a food dehydrator so it doesn't actually cook the food, it just dries the food. So I make it into a crust on the food dehydrator tray. And then um, I use a spatula to spread it out. Maybe we could do this in one of your shows. Use a spatula to spread it out, and we even make the edges like we would in a regular pizza Kelly, crust. And then you dehydrate yeah, it, and it comes out, and it looks just like a regular cooked pizza crust. But it's just almonds and flax seeds and water and some salt and olive oil. Some olive oil, too. That's amazing. And what message do you have to send out to kids about raw food? Well, what I'd like to say to kids about raw food is that it actually does taste really good. You don't have to be afraid of eating a lot of vegetables because there's a lot of things that are raw foods that, like, you can eat raw fruits, you can make your own fruit salad. I know how to make stuffing, like, you know, stuffing for Thanksgiving. 
I can make stuffing that tastes just like a cooked stuffing but doesn't have any bread in it. Um, so don't be scared of raw foods. It'll taste just as good, but you feel better when you eat it. You won't feel cranky or tired or sleepy. Um, and you'll have more fun and you'll be really creative. And lastly, um, what would be a good first raw dish to introduce the kids to? Probably a first raw dish that something good is a pudding, some kind of pudding, some kind of dessert. I would say either a fruit smoothie that has some special ingredients, or a chocolate pudding, or maybe even teaching kids how to open their own coconuts. Have you ever had the coconuts? Open that and use the coconut meat to make a pudding with that. Or we could even make a pie. Pies are pretty easy to eat. Like pumpkin pie. Yeah. <laughs> with whipped cream. <laughs> Okay, well thank you. That's very informational. So um thank you for You're welcome. Um, spending your time to come out here and do this interview. My pleasure. <laughs>